If you've heard of Mestastic or other mesh radios, you've already dipped your toes into decentralized communications. But what if I told you there is a system that connects all these tools together? That's where Reticulum comes in. And I promise to keep this simple, no coding. This is gonna be a base video for my adventure into Reticulum. It's only started a couple weeks ago. And I'm gonna to continue to work on it at least through the end of 2025 until I become much more familiar of all the possibilities that Reticulum offers. And I will be creating videos and breaking that down, trying to keep all of it as simple as possible so that it's easier for users to adopt something like Reticulum. Now, what is Reticulum? In plain language, it is, it's an, like an internet protocol or a network stack as most people call it for off-grid decentralized communications. Um, designed to let devices like radios, your traditional style two-way communication radios, depending on you know what, we'll get into more of that. You know, Wi-Fi, serial connections, more radios as already mentioned, to talk together securely. The most important thing is Reticulum is not any one device, it's a protocol, right? It is not the radio itself. So why does this all matter? Well, the problem is, is we have all these different types of communications equipment uh, and none of it really meshes together. They're all kind of live on an island, even in the, like, especially in the amateur radio community, there's some protocols out there, uh, especially on the digital side that basically only talk to each other. You can't bridge those to other uh, systems or other protocols, I guess is the best way to put it. Now, that's where, that's where Reticulum comes in with allowing a bridge between many different types of networks interconnected to one large network. Benefits is it works over almost anything. As mentioned, LoRa, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, Bluetooth, even really low speed internet connections. Um, has built-in encryption and addressing, and it doesn't require centralized internet servers, or any servers for that matter. What, so what do I mean by a internet server? What does this mean in Reticulum? Well, normal internet, it runs through centralized servers. Think of WhatsApp, it uses, you know, owned by Meta, uses Meta servers your email service, your email services like Gmail or uh, Microsoft Outlook or whatever, those use their servers and information is stored on those servers. And even your websites, right? You're typically, most people aren't, don't have their own website servers in their home or business. They use a hosting company that has a server where that information is stored. Reticulum flips that whole idea around and it doesn't, require on that centralized computer or company to manage that information. The devices talk directly to each other based through peer-to-peer -peer connections over whatever link they have, LoRa, radio, Wi-Fi, as we talked, either, you know, you get the point. So there's no middleman in this process. So how does it work without servers? Well, instead of servers handing handing out addresses reticulum creates its own self assigned cryptographic addresses these messages are routed peer to peer every reticulum load can pass along messages with others like a digital chain as we would expect with a mesh networking setup how does reticulum work break it down a little bit more imagine basically a postal service for digital messages each gets its own address like a mailbox. You can drop a message in and Reticulum will find the path. It'll use different uh, protocols to find the way to the addressee, the person you're trying to send that message to because you have their digital address that Reticulum has self-addressed for you. Um, so it can use multiple different technologies to get that message forward. It also has store and forward. My 
understanding is it works much better. I know Mistastic is trying to solve some of the issues with the Storm Ford, and they've made some strides in, in recent firmware updates. But to my understanding, Rich Eagle works way better. So this basically means that if I send a message to another person and their device is not connected to any, any sort of network or over uh, radio, you know, over, over the air, when they connect that device or turn it on, they're going to get that message. Now, what is, you know, Mestastic versus Reticulum? And th this video isn't really trying to put them head to head because I like Mestastic, but Mestastic really is a specific tool using just LoRa radios. So, and then of course the app that you use to interface with radio, unless you're using like something like a standalone, like a LilyGo T-Deck, but it only works in LoRa. So in Reticulum, think of it more like a big toolbox that can include LoRa and much, much more. Mistastic like a walkie-talkie with a chat feature like you have with some digital handheld radios. In the, but versus Reticulum is more like a universal wiring system that can link all those walkie-talkies together, laptops, and the whole and a whole network together. So it, it's a tool to net connect all these different devices together. Use cases, right? If you've been around this channel at all, off-grid communications, network linking and multiple, you meet linking multiple towns. So getting out past your typical line of sight restrictions, emergency communications, sharing maps. You can even share depending on what you're using you can even share things like pictures voice those type of things using reticulum now and then connecting all these together as i already mentioned so how to get started so and not be you know somebody that's like a computer programmer things like that or know some programming languages it isn't as hard as it may seem especially if you're just looking to do something like an r node r node is a lore device they have a list I'm showing you here on the screen of ones they support through their web flasher. I have heard of people being able to install it without it. It's a little more complex. I haven't tried that yet, but flashing the R node, taking a LoRa radio and flashing it and making it an R node instead of a Mestastic node is quite simple. Raspberry Pi, laptops, Android devices, the Kaonic 1S, feature videos. Um, this allows you to get started in that space, and then you can also use apps that are built in on top of this like MeshNet showing you here in the video. This can be downloaded to like your laptop or computer and now you can you can message an R node from your computer. Yeah, you're using internet, but it's not going through centralized servers. It is just going out there and it's going to find its way to that R node if you know the address. And then NomadNet, I'm not super familiar with NomadNet. It seems a little more complex to set up. Seems like some programming knowledge or at least a step-by-step -step video from somebody else to get started with nomad net i'm going to be diving into that in the future sideband which is the app you can install on an android device it is a side loaded app ap key file side load so on and so forth but then now you can use your phone by itself using a cellular network or wi-fi or an r node connected to that and you're up and running so lots of options there join existing communities i do i just started a new discord server called um, mesh talk and it's brand new my telegram channel which still is around but is more based in the mestastic space mesh talk is going to be about all mesh networking systems specifically to decentralized mesh communications and <clears throat> so join that link will be below and there's a lot of other information out there. I'll link some of that down below where you can find that information. So to wrap up, I think we, we've all wanted this. It's been here uh, and I've known about it, but I didn't realize how groundbreaking it is, how we can tie all these other networks together, which is pretty amazing. I'm excited to move forward with it. I hope you are too. So if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check our website, social media links, affiliate links, much more down below in the description se section. Thanks for watching.